Hello and welcome to Adventures in Black and White. And my name is Rhea and this is Rosie. And today I'm going to show you how to help your horse understand better what is expected when they pick their feet up because she's disappeared. But when I first got Rosie, that wasn't always that easy. <laughs> How to lift her feet but sometimes she would be a bit snatchy so she'd lift them up and then she'd just smash them at you um, this wasn't so much of a problem until it came around to her having the farrier and the farrier was finding that she was either trying to run over the top of him or she was trying to kick him which as you can see she isn't a kicker so we had to think why is Rosie struggling to lift her feet and it wasn't necessarily as straightforward as I thought. Um, so I was talking to my trainer and she had a look at her and she decided that actually Rosie just didn't know how to balance on her feet. So as they have to lift their legs up, they need to think about where their feet are. And Rosie just had no idea how to actually balance on three feet because she was four and she'd never really had her feet picked out. So she'd never developed that spatial awareness of what she needed to do. So in order to teach Rosie how to lift her feet for the farrier, we actually have to start teaching her PF, which she quite enjoys, and I'll show you next. So as your basics, you need their normal head collar, or a uh, head collar with slightly more control. You could do it with a bridle. And I use a schooling whip. Um, as you can see, Rosie isn't bothered by a whip at all. So, um, or you can use a cane. Um, but basically, you want to use this as an extension of your arm and you want to ask the horse to lift the leg. So this is the start of how you teach a horse to do PIA um, and it's quite a good thing to teach them anyway. What you want to do is make sure that they can go forward into it if they need to. So if they lose balance, they can go forward. So obviously make sure she's got room in front of the wall. She's a little bit of a creeper, so she'll want to come forward anyway. And then you tap the leg. Now, Sometimes they'll snap it up quickly, that's fine. Or sometimes you need to tap it a few times, which again is fine. To make sure they know, if you accompany it with a word, that'll help you in the future. Um, Rose's is up, um, and she knows it quite well. So you build it up, so in the end you'll just point your finger and say up. But this is how you start off. Up. And what you want her to do is to hold it up like that because that way, in the process of you asking her to lift the leg, she's having to think where her feet are, where her weight is. Let's move my weight, lift my leg. Up. That was fine. It doesn't matter that it wasn't a big movement, but she altered her weight and she lifted her foot. Up. That was a really good one. So give her a scratch. Let her know that she's a good girl. And then repeat on the other leg. Also, make sure if you think your horse might strike out, that you're not directly in front of them, otherwise, you will get a smack. But Rosie's pretty good, so she's quite trustworthy. So, up. Up. There we go. You got a bit confused because you thought we were asking for that leg. Up. Up. And what you see there is Rosie trying to give me what she thinks that I want. So you have to make it quite clear that you want that leg. Up. And that was really good. You do the same process with the hind legs. Up. And that's absolutely fine. So give her a little pat. Let her walk forwards. What was quite good there was that she thought about where she needed to put her weight and she moved herself so she could lift that leg. Now, the front she's actually really good with, so we don't tend to do that very much now. 
but she has still had a little bit of an issue with our hinds. This could be because, in general, she's quite weak in the stifle area. So if your horse has like, got a weak back end, it actually might pay for you to do this. And I do this every day before I leave the box, even though now she's very good to do her feet. Every day before we start a session, I'll do this. And what I'm asking for now is I want her to lift and hold because that will mean that if she has the barrier or if um, we need to do the veterinary treatment on her, she knows that she can actually lift it and hold it. So I'll just try and get her to show you. Don't do it too much because it can wind her up. Up. Encourage her to hold it up. 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 Yeah. So I really don't want her to flick like that. That's more just her. She's hot, a bit bored. As you can hear, she's just on the side. But in general, if you get your horse into a good practice of being able to use your whip to be able to lift whatever leg you want just by pointing, you'll find that their balance becomes much better, their perception of where their legs are improves so much, and Rose's has got so much better. But doing just that exercise every day, she actually, in general, she's not standing very well at the moment, but in general, she will stand herself in a much better position than she was, than she was doing before. So she's a lot more able now to take the weight on the hind end. And that is how I got Rosie to be good looking her feet. If you want to know any more about this technique, then um, just drop me a message in the comments below. And if you like this content, give me a like, subscribe, and uh, we'll be doing much more soon.